Omega recently introduced the new Speedmaster Silver Snoopy edition on the 50th anniversary of the Silver Snoopy Award which was given by NASA for the important role that Omega played in the Apollo 13 mission. So why is this one of the most iconic watches in the world has a cartoon astronaut beagle on its dial? Or why a cartoon character was chosen as a symbol for this most valuable award of NASA? In this video, I'm going to talk about a real story that brings together a thrilling space adventure, a wristwatch and the cartoon beagle Snoopy. Apollo missions were some of the concrete attempts of man's desire to explore the sky and the universe. Apollo 13, which was NASA's third human moon landing mission, was launched from Kennedy Space Center on April 11, 1970. The astronauts were James Arthur Lowell, John L. Swigert, and Fred Heiss. The mission was to examine the lunar surface, take samples, and place a research module. Everything was going fine, but two days after the launch, approximately 320,000 kilometers from Earth, occurred a power outage for 1.3 seconds, followed by an explosion, which caused loss of oxygen stocks and electrical power of the service module. It was also noticed at the Houston Command Center that something was wrong. While the engineers on the computer were trying to understand what was happening, Swigert's famous quote was heard. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Houston, we've had a problem. The warning lights were showing that two of the three fuel cells were lost. Because of the damage which was caused by the explosion, all oxygen stocks and electrical system were in danger. Lowell reported that they were venting something into the space. It was oxygen. Obviously, the lunar landing mission was aborted. But what about going back home? Now, there were three astronauts who wanted to return home, facing the problem of limited power, oxygen and drinking water. Of course, there were also other important problems, such as the risk of exploding in the atmosphere, freezing or being not able to go back at all. It was impossible for them to return while keeping their same condition. With the partnership of mathematical calculations and imagination, it was decided to leave the central module and switch to the spider-like lunar module that they would use to land on the lunar surface if they had succeeded. They separated the lamp from the main module and then used the gravitational force of the moon to take a turn around it and try to return to the Earth. They had successfully rotated around the moon but when they headed towards Earth, they had to enter the atmosphere at the right speed and right angle. They had to make two manual burns, first to accelerate and then reduce the speed for maneuver. A tiny mistake could cause the module to shatter in the atmosphere or to be thrown deeper into space. Timing was crucial and the only reference they could look at was the Omega Speedmaster on Jack Swigert's arm. The vital 14 seconds were counted with the Omega Speedmaster and the maneuver was done manually. The module landed somewhere in the Pacific Ocean near New Zealand. The astronauts had returned to Earth safely. This magnificent space adventure was counted as a motivation in the race between human beings and the unknown universe and even later was eternized by a Hollywood-made movie starring Tom Hanks in the lead role. After all, you might be thinking that the crew could have another watch instead of Omega to count that 14 seconds. But this would not be possible, because Omega wasn't there by chance. In 1962, Omega Speedmaster was the only watch that passed NASA tests among the brands such as Rolex, Longines and Hamilton. It was the only watch that NASA approved for use in manned space flights. Omega was awarded with the most respected award, Silver Snoopy, by NASA for its role in the Apollo 13 safe return. It was an astronaut Snoopy-shaped silver pin. This was the story of Apollo 13 and Omega Speedmaster. But why is this award symbolized by a comic book character? What does this beagle mean at all? For the answer, let's take a look at Snoopy and the Peanuts cartoon series. Snoopy is one of the characters in the Peanuts cartoon series which was created in 1950 by Charles M. Schultz. Snoopy is Charlie Brown's intelligent and daydreamer dog. 
he behaves like humans, but he never talks. He only expresses himself with thought bubbles. The Peanuts series were featured 500 episodes on TV and also published in newspapers and magazines. It was not only a cartoon, but a classic which has an especial world perspective and its own philosophy of life. For example, despite all his failures, each episode Charlie Brown demonstrates how to question life without being pessimistic. Charles M. Schulz was a supporter of NASA's space travel missions in 1960s. He had cartoons which symbolized the excitement that NASA's activities created on the public. In some of them, Snoopy appeared in an astronaut costume. NASA did not only choose these characters as mascots, but also named the lunar module Snoopy and the control module Charlie Brown in Apollo 10. In fact, Apollo 10's mission was to operate around the moon and make the final checks for the next Apollo 11 landing. It was a very accurate name considering that the job was to snoop around. They chose the Beagle as an icon to emphasize mission success and to act as a watchdog for flight safety and became a special honor award for outstanding achievements related to human flight safety. Well, the story ends here, but with a third of the collection, it seems that Omega will continue to keep this historical moment alive on its dial with Silver Snoopy.